I just give you this question, okay? And you, I mean, there's nothing great about it. Simply, if you look at it, one equation is E is equal to minus dv by dr, or if you remember minus delta v, if it is significant change, we had it as e bar dot r bar, right? Yes, sir. Well, just I'll say, suppose there is an electric field of uh, uh, 100 Newton per coulomb, okay? Yes, sir. There is a uniform electric field of 100 Newton per coulomb from left to right. There are two points A and B. Yes, sir. Where AB is parallel to the electric field. The distance between AB is 10 meters. If if VA is equal to 10 volts, find VB. This is ninety. Hmm? Ninety sir. Volts. No. My sir, minus ninety. Okay. Can I solve? Yes, sir. See, all these negative stories all were there, but we discussed one concept. Obviously, if electric field is from left to right, VA is higher potential, VB is lower potential. Yes, sir. Next, the change in potential will have a magnitude of product of electric field and distance. Yes, sir. 100 into 10 is 1000. Mm. What should be 1000? VA minus VB should be 1000. Sir, what did you try to find? VB. Potential it be. Yes, sir. What is this product? And can we take oh, this? Sir, I take Yes, sir. So basically what I'll get is VA minus VB is equal to 1000. Yes, sir. That's it. VA is 10. CR. Is this clear? Yes, sir. VA is 10. Red and stop. So VB is equal to how much? It will be minus 900. Minus? What is VB? Sorry. Minus 990. Minus 990. Okay. Next question. Take that down quickly. Uh, electric field is 80 Newton per coulomb. Again, I am giving the same situation. Points P and Q. PQ is again parallel to the electric field and the distance between PQ is taken as 10 meters. Yes, sir. If VQ is equal to minus 80 volts, find VP. Minus 720, sir. So, what is the product? Product is 800. Yes, sir. And uh, VP minus VQ is equal to 800, right? Yes, sir. So, VP is equal to? 720. 720. Because this only we took as negative. So, VP minus of minus 80 is equal to 800 
this fellow will come become negative 720 see this question i'm solving i am only solving it next question you can also use it as a derivation in fact yes sir so simply without drawing any figure or anything if you remember what is the equation that we had we had minus delta v is equal to e bar dot r bar right yes sir now if we you know look at it a little better way if suppose e bar is equal to e x i cap plus e y j cap plus e z k cap obviously yes. if we have a vector we can use cartesian coordinates and write any vector as i cap j cap k cap yes sir right similarly r bar also i can write it as r x i cap r y j cap and r z k cap Fine. Yes. Sir. I want to first understand the RHS part. Okay. So if I have to do E bar dot R bar, I'll have this entire thing dot product with this entire thing. Yes, so, sir. Okay. So I will have E X I cap plus E Y J cap plus E Z K cap dot product with. R X I cap plus R Y J cap plus R Z K cap. Correct. Yes, sir. What will I get this as? E X R X plus E Y R Y. E X R X plus E Y R Y. E Z R Z. E Z R Z. Fine. Yes, sir. If you look at it. I can write this only as minus delta v x, e x r x. Yes, sir. Is actually representing also, and e y r y is representing as my delta v y. Yes, sir. And e z r z is representing as my delta v z. Mm. Represent a vector quantity. Hmm. A vector into vector will become scalar. Yes, sir. It's a dot product, anyways. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm not bothered about that. I am telling you that if we look these three independently, yes, I can sir. write it like this, right? Yes, sir. And anyways, LHS we had delta v. Yes, sir. So what I was trying to say here is, first if I focus on my RHS, then I can see that I can write my LHS and RHS in you know interrelated with each other separately along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, take this down. Done, sir. Done. I was trying to draw the entire Cartesian coordinate, but I felt I'll just keep it small. Okay. Yes, sir. We have just a geometry over here. We haven't mentioned anything till now. So basically, zero comma zero origin, some point four comma zero on x-axis and four comma three. Obviously, this is a right angle triangle where this angle comes up as thirty-seven degree. You know it already, right? Mm. Sin 37 is 3 by 5, all those stories. Now, also it is given, now we are including electrostatic story in this. Also it is given that 50 Newton per Coulomb electric field is parallel in that direction. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's say A, B, C. Yes, sir. What will be, uh, suppose my VA is equal to 0. What will be VC? Hmm. If VA is 0, did you understand the question? I understood, sir. Electric field is up the inclined plane, let's say. 
फ्रॉम ए टू सी इज हाउ मच सो हाउ मच विल बी सी कम एज टू फिफ्टी so uh, no forget units so you are saying parallel to electric field electric potential should increase or decrease it decrease minus 250 so we see we, we will come as minus 250 right yes sir now can you tell me what will be vb Hello everyone. Welcome to Vidyashree Academy. My name is Anil Kumar. I am an alumni of IIT Bombay. I have done my B.Tech from Mechanical Engineering. I have been teaching physics for the past decade for JE mains, JE advanced, NEET UG, and other competitive exams. If you are interested to attend my sessions, please find the contact details in the description below. Let's get started with this lecture. Enjoy the video. It will be. A into four upon distance. I don't know distance. Okay. See, you understand what I am trying to show over here. I am going to solve this. Okay. Focus. Very easy question, actually. Hypotenuse sum vector fifty is given thirty-seven degree. That means the components of those vectors should be forty and thirty. Of electric field. Yeah, and take care. Okay, sir. Next, just now we saw individual. I can multiply and get. Correct. Yes, sir. So my minus delta v x is actually e x into r x. Yes, sir. And e x because of this beautiful triangle, I know it is forty. I don't have to do mathematics, right? Yes. Random calculations are not necessary. It's just forty into four. You know R X also. You felt as if you don't know. Okay. Yes, sir. Now I want you to remember. Just a alert thing. Why am I getting a negative sign over here? There is no negative sign over here. But why am I writing a negative sign? the same reason because whenever we have an electric field electric field goes from high potential to low potential right yes sir let's say a and b so this is the concept va is greater than vb therefore vb minus va has to be negative yes sir vb minus va has to be negative why am i doing vb minus va Because change in physics generally is final minus initial. Mm. Why is that taken as final? Because direction of electric field is from left to right. Yes, sir. If a charge moves from left to right, right becomes the final position. Yes, sir. So simply, why am I having negative sign in my? Minus delta v is equal to e bar dot r bar. Why do I have this negative sign with delta v? Is because of simply this logic. High potential to low potential electric field will be there. So loss in potential will happen if we go along the electric field. Yes. Sir. Loss in potential means from hundred rupees to fifty rupees. Yes. Sir. So I lost fifty rupees. So minus Minus of minus fifty will become plus is equal to e into r. Well, could you repeat the last? I know. <laughs> Along the electric field, I will always lose my money. Yes, sir. That is potential. Mm. So if I have hundred rupees over here, and then if I have fifty rupees at B. That means my final minus initial is what minus fifty. You lost fifty. Lost. 
So along the electric field, always there is a loss in potential. So always I will have an extra minus sign outside. So that minus into my loss will give me that value. Yes, sir. What is the what is the amount lost? Fifty rupees. Right. Mm. So to get that fifty rupees, what should I do? Minus of fifty minus hundred. Minus of fifty minus hundred. Why fifty minus hundred? Finally, I had fifty rupees. Initially, I had hundred rupees. Why final minus initial? Because in physics, I always do final minus initial. Yes, sir. Therefore. Final value minus initial value will always be negative when I go along the field. Yes, sir. But if I have only this bracket fellow, I'll get it as minus fifty, right? Yes, sir. So an extra negative sign is always given for delta v. Yes, sir. Because minus into minus then will become plus. Otherwise, I will get minus x is equal to x. Yes, sir. Then I can take that minus x towards right side. Two x is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to zero. Every mathematics student does this <laughs> just for fun. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Always my v is going to be lost as I go along electric field. So therefore, always a negative sign is given to delta v. Because negative of negative will become positive. I will get positive. Mm -hmm. okay. Simple example we can see over here. Yes, sir. This is forty into four, which is one sixty. So if you look at LHS, VB minus VA, right? Final minus initial. Yes, sir. Now, if you take this minus sign inside V A minus V B, you already know V A minus V B. You can write directly also. Mm. Correct. Yes, sir. Because you know the story, you can start actually from here, and we usually start from here. Only thing is just to have it as a formula kind of a thing. We write these stories just for memory basis. Otherwise, you already know that hundred rupees is going to become yeah. fifty. Oh. I am telling that. Uh, I mean, doing by logic is far better than doing by logic is more easier than getting yes. minus of minus of minus. We didn't know before taking MPC, right? <laughs> Okay, fine. So basically, the potential over here is zero volts. The potential over here is minus one sixty volts. Okay. Yes, sir. And the potential over there is minus two fifty volts. Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the one sixty to two fifty? How much difference is there? Ninety. Yes, sir. But that you can get from here also minus. Minus delta v by e is equal to e by e into r by e, and e by e is again thirty into three is ninety. Yes. That you can confirm it from here also, and if you look at it, you can say if this point is at zero volts, this is minus one sixty volts, and this is minus two fifty. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you think this video was useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section. See you in the next video.